<laughs> Howdy folks, how you going? Little John, uh, and just having a quick catch up with where I'm going with Extractor Ganza. Um, I've just tucked away the current batch uh, in the ferment fridge. That's um, Morgan's ginger beer, batch number 14. Uh, this is the final bit of the sample. I've drunk most of it. Uh, well, I'm doing half that batch as the basic and half as uh, Kev Bristol's Raspberry Fireball. Uh, but what I'm doing is I'm changing the focus of Extractor Ganza. Uh, I want to get away from the basics of brewing just basic kit beers that, you know, for the most part makes ordinary beer. Uh, the channel is designed to help you guys at home, help brewers make better beer. And I've just got the point where I really believe that just brewing basic kit beers doesn't do that. Um, so I'm going to take the extractor ganser up a little bit, uh, where I had sort of taken where I was doing half the batch and then doing half, you know, as a base and then bringing up the other half and doing extra. I'm going to look up doing more of that, um, but more in the focus of looking at available um, recipes, whether they be in a kit ready to buy or recipes that are accessible either by brew shops or on, online websites um, and things like that. Uh, so, from the next batch, that's where we'll be going. We're doing that sort of thing. So, it'll be um, clone type recipes, uh, whether they are just style clones or particular beer, beer clones, uh, will, will depend from month to month. But what I hope is that for the extract brewers out there, you're going to get. Um, more information and more knowledge around how to dress these kits up, how to make them a little bit better as opposed to just doing your basic, you know, dump your kit and dump in some sugar and, you know, off you go. Um, which is where <laughs> Extract the Games was progressing, um, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit out of this whole half batch thing and having half a batch of shitty beer and half a batch of, you know, maybe half decent beer. So I want to focus more on trying to get these kit beers to come out a lot better for you guys at home. Uh, and hopefully it might mean I get a little bit, a few more beers that I can actually drink. Um, at the moment I don't have a way of getting rid of the all the beer all those beers I brew. Um, so if I can actually get them into my rotation that's going to work a lot better for me as well. Uh, and it's going to take some pressure off my ferment, my whole fermentation process at the same time. So, that's it. That's all I want to do. Just want to catch up on where we're going. So, if you've got, if you've got any comments or any questions about it, stick them down the bottom. Um, as always, you know, thank you to the patrons. Uh, thank you to the subscribers. There's links and buttons down there. Hit, hit the link to the Patreon if you want to check it out. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Hit the like button. Um, maybe you like this idea, maybe you don't. If you don't, don't hit the don't like button though. That's a bad thing. Hit, hit the like button. <laughs> but anyway guys, that's it. Yeah, so, some changes coming. I really think they're going to be for the better of everybody. I think it's going to be better for you guys at home. It's going to make things a little bit uh, better for me uh, because it's going to allow me to actually get a little bit more focus on some of the experiments I want to do. And I've got a long list of experiments I want to play around with uh, and I can't get them done when I'm tying my fridges up all the time. So that's going to free up a little bit more space for more experiments and I think that's that's more about what, what, what the channel's about. Learning different stuff, new things and this is going to certainly go that way. So guys, till I see you again on the next video, where we were, could be brewing beer, talking beer or drinking beer. Good brewing. Cheers, my life's that's yours.